Hey you guys, it's me, Maddie Makes, with another video for you here today. It's been a while since I put out a video, um, so um, I'm excited to be back here with you today. So today we're going to use my favorite place, Canva, um, and I'm going to show you, a t here's the t-shirt design that I made for my aunt, however she wants it to have a little bit of more texture, okay, and, and, and or, or look a little more what would the word be vintage? Maybe a little bit more vintage. And so I am going to do this for her. Okay. She's have this is the design she wants because she's turning 64 years old. And then she wants it on a black t shirt. So that that's why I have the black background here. Okay. Just giving her a feel for what it's going to look like. Distressed. That's what she wants. The word I want to use, you guys, is she wants it to look a little more distressed. Okay. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we, we're in Canva. Um, Canva has a free version. Remember, I told you that. But today, I think we're going to be using one of the pro assets in here. But they do have other images that are free. So with that said, let's jump right into it. We're going to go to elements over here. And then we're going to do um, a texture background. I kind of already know the one I want. So I'm going to click on here. You can just type in what you want to type in. OK. And I think this is the right one. Where is it? This is the one I want. Maybe. No, that's not the one I want. Let me see. Okay, let's start over. Texture background, then white texture we want, and then we're going to click on that. That's the one I want, okay? So just in that instant, did you see? And again, this was a pro one, I think. But it has the exact look she's looking for. So then if I go up here, I can just pull it down to over the entire thing here, okay? So that's what we want, but look, we have a problem. So if this was really to go on a t-shirt, then this background is not, it's on the um, t-shirt. I don't want that on a t-shirt, right? I don't want it. I just want it on this fancy stuff right here, okay? So how do we get rid of that? Well, let's do that, all right? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to share this and we're going to uh, download and you want to download um, a PNG and I don't need both pages. I just need the first page. So I'm not going to waste my energy on that. And then I'm going to hit done. and download. And so it's downloading into our little world and then we can be done with that, right? And now what we need to do is upload it back, upload files, and we're gonna go to our downloads and we're gonna get this one right here, right? And there it is, okay? But now, let me go down here and create a new page. Now what I want it to do Now what I want it to do is I'm going to go and take this and I'm just going to move it over here. Okay? So see what I'm saying? That crazy looking effect. Let's try and see if we can get get rid of it though. I I I know of one way I could do it, but I wanted to try this different way in Canva, okay? Um did I grab the right one? I did. Alrighty. So it did not do what I wanted it to do. It should have though. Oh, there it is. I wanted this edit photo button to come up. That's what I was looking for. Sorry, you guys. So we're going to do edit photo and then we're going to say background remover. And I hope this works. Boom, y'all, look at there, okay? So for the most part, um, all that fuzzy wuzzy background went away, all right? It's not perfect. I could probably go in here and do a little bit of uh, editing on this, but 
I'm not going to because it's fine. Um, and I'm going to leave it at that. But anyway, that was it. That was a quick video today just to show you guys how you can add some texture and then remove that background um, from behind it so that it's only on your, your image, okay? I hope that this video was good. I hope that you learned something new. And um, I look forward to you next time. If you like the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like learning new things, please subscribe. All right, you guys, until next time.